Hi and welcome to our web design video blog. We've recorded this video early in the week so we can set it live on Friday as normal. Firstly, we just wanted to show you an Easter egg on Google. If you go to google.co.uk or google.com and simply click on the I'm feeling lucky button, you'll notice the countdown has appeared at the bottom of the screen. There is wide speculation as to exactly what this is counting down to. Someone has worked out that it does end on New Year's Day, um, but there's also a lot of um, people suggesting it could be the release of something big from Google like uh, the new operating system or their new phone. A couple of months ago we started a tutorial on building websites in PHP Include. In this week's tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can make uh, Include websites with just one header file. So first of all you might want to download the supporting files from our blog post at creadesign.co.uk forward slash blog. All I've done is I've uh, left these on my desktop and I've just set up a connection to them in Dreamweaver. I'm just going to be working locally for this demonstration. Now what I've um, got in this folder, there's two folders, there's this new optimised way of doing uh, the header PHP include and I've also got the uh, previous version that we also uh, showed you in our last PHP include video blog. So let's just remind ourselves what we've got. So if I open up the index file on here, you'll see that um, we have a PHP include for the first head and if we open that file up, it's essentially just the first bit of the head above the title tag, so that's really never going to change. Then we have the editable or the sort of elements of the page that are going to be different for each page, the page title, the meta description and the keywords. Then we've got the next, uh, which is really the main um, included header, which I've saved in here as header. And you can see this is uh, the end of the head tag um, and the start of the design and you know, the navigation and that kind of thing. So the trouble with this file at the moment is um, we've got all this information here, these five lines of information that really represent the header. Now there's a slightly different way you can go about doing PHP includes if you're building websites um, because obviously building basic HTML websites using PHP includes is much better than doing it in uh, Dreamweaver templates. So let's have a look at the second folder that's included in the zip. So this is called the optimized header. Now if I open up my index file on here you can see that there's one less include file and this is this one include file here that carries the variables for each page. So let's just take a look in our includes folder. So we just have a footer include and a header include. And if we look in our previous version, there's two headers and one footer. So the way that we can have one header for the website but customize the title, meta description, and keyword tag is by the use of variables. So if we open up our new header file, as you can see, I've got the um, information that was previously surrounded by header tags included in this header include. So the page title will print the variable here, the meta description will be printed here, and the keywords will be printed here. So we only have to have one header include file. And as you can see, I'm defining these variables per page. So the page title in this example is home. The meta description is this is the page meta description and then we've got some example keywords here. So the good thing is we can have the same header include file for all pages of our website but we can still customize the page title, the description tag and the keyword tag. And the good thing about doing it this way as well is you can also template things into the page title like you can have a hyphen website name after the variable like we've got here. You could do the same thing for your keywords and your description if you wanted to. So when you're making uh, multiple pages for your new website, if you're using this sort of slightly better optimized version of um, you know, building websites with PHP includes, is that you can just define all of the variables at the top as part of this include file here. And you can do this for as many sort of meta tags or um, other files you may wish to customize per, um, per page on your website. So the advantages of doing it this way as opposed to the previous way, as I said, there's one less include file, so it's a, it can be a lot more organized. Um, you can structure and organize your um, header include file a lot better and it's more consistent and you only have to change the one file. Uh, like I said, you can also template parts of your um, page title like we've done here. And again, you can do this on the other tags as well. And also it's a lot cleaner when you're looking at it in the uh, code view of Dreamy, for example. So there's our previous method of doing it and then here's our latest method of doing it. The only one negative to doing this, as opposed to doing it in the previous way, um, is we could also run um, page-specific scripts or style sheets. Um, we could just add that into a row here, whereas uh, you can't really do that in this current method. You'd have to add in other variables, which can get a little bit more complex, which is something that we'll talk about 
in a uh, future video tutorial. So if you download the, the files for this from our supporting blog post, have a bit of a play around with the variables and you should uh, hopefully see the difference between the two methods of doing um, you know, basic HTML websites using PHP and Glues as opposed to using Dreamweaver templates. We've had a question this week from Chris who asks us, I'm making a website in Dreamweaver CS4. I've been saving the CSS rules to this document only as opposed to the new style sheet. So all of the CSS rules are in page properties and not in my local folders. This is my first website and as far as I understand, when you upload your website to the internet, you have to upload your HTML folders, image folders and CSS folders. But I don't actually have any CSS rules in my local folders. What do I need to do? Firstly, Chris, having your CSS in the head of your document will work. However, this is not the best way to do it. You ideally want to be sourcing all CSS from a single external file on the root layer of your website. You could call this simply styles.css. Having one universal style sheet will allow you to control all pages of your website from a single file. If I were you, I would cut and paste all CSS from the uh, heads of your existing documents and paste them onto a new external style sheet. You can create an external style sheet through the CSS panel in Dreamweaver or by right clicking on the files panel. Make a new file and call it something like styles.css. In one of our previous videos, Top 10 Tips for Dreamweaver, there is a quick shortcut for embedding a style sheet on your web pages. Thanks for watching this week, and don't forget you can leave any comments on our YouTube channel or on our supporting blog post. Merry Christmas.